Moving on, Hamas and Israeli leadership still trying to come to terms via Egyptian mediation following the latest 11-day war between Israel and the Gaza-based terror group Hamas last month. Negotiations possibly hitting a snag, however, on details of a prisoner swap included in the ceasefire. Israel requesting the return of two IDF soldiers' bodies and two apparently cognitively impaired civilians held by Hamas since 2014 and 2015, while Hamas demanding, among others, the return of incarcerated Palestinian terrorist and political leader Marwan Barghouti. Barghouti, who is serving five life sentences plus 40 years in Israeli prison for the murder of four Israelis and a Greek Orthodox priest during the Second Intifada between 2000 and 2005. So what will come of these negotiations? Joining us with the analysis is Dr. Eli Carmon, senior researcher at the Institute for Counterterrorism at the IDC Herzliya. Thank you so much for being with us. Now, would Israel consider releasing Barghouti? Good afternoon. Uh, personally, I think it will be a good idea because uh, for the moment there is no real uh, uh, successor to Abu Mazen. Uh, Barghouti is known, by the way, in the past was considered to be moderate and he passed a lot of time in uh, Israeli prison. Uh, I think that uh, like other leaders of the PLO and especially of Fatah, we were in Israeli prison. In the end, they were much more moderate than other uh, uh, organization prisoners, for the instance, uh, Hamas clearly, and also the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine. Uh, and this would be some uh, good uh, news for uh, the Palestinian Authority because uh, they would prefer to see him free and not uh, uh, important people from the Hamas. So do you think that this might actually, do you think that this might actually bring Israel and the Palestinian Authority closer together? I think that uh, there is need for a negotiation. Uh, and uh, this is actually the, the position of the American uh, administration of Egypt, of the European Union. And I think also if the new government uh, uh, of Shinui will be in power, I think there are more, more, more elements in this government which accept and think that a new negotiation must be begin with the Palestinian Authority. It's not negotiation for peace immediately, but uh, to try to change the situation, to improve the situation, to stabilize the relationship between Israel and the Palestinians, and trying to uh, weaken Hamas in Gaza, because all the other actors, though all these actors are interested in weakening Hamas, and especially on the military level. Uh, and this is, by the way, one of the main uh, issues on the table during these negotiations. Will Hamas rearm? Will uh, the international community, Egypt and Israel, give them the uh, necessary financial means like uh, we did with the Qataris, to have money and uh, reconstruct their arsenal, which was destroyed, uh, in part at least, by IDF. Uh, so I think this uh, will be the main issues on the table in the negotiations in which the Egyptians have a critical uh, role. By the way, the Egyptians want to uh, be active partners in the reconstruction of Gaza. They say we give half a billion dollars in order to be inside this, uh, wow. this uh, uh, project. And they want the Palestinian Authority to be involved. And the President Biden said the money will arrive only through the Palestinian Authority. All right. Well, I think it'll be very interesting to see how these negotiations progress then. Dr. Kawon, thank you so much for, for joining us. Thank you.